Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Unkar Tendulkar and today I will be walking you through an interesting geometric problem from the International Youth Math Challenge IYMC 2024 qualification round. As you might know, the IYMC is a global platform for young math enthusiasts where challenging and creative math problems take the central stage. Today we will be solving a fascinating problem involving two square. One of them is rotated by 45 degree and placed at the center of the other. Our goal is to find the surface area of the rotated square that does not overlap with the stationary one. That is nothing but the problem E from the qualification. Okay, so without wasting more time, we will, we will directly solve our problem. So problem E, the drawing below shows the two square with side length A. One of the square is rotated by 45 degree and place in the center of the second square. Find the surface area of the rotated square not overlapping the non-rotated square that is nothing but the gray area. Okay. So we will solve this problem by uh, breaking down this problem into uh, four to five steps. Okay. So without wasting more time we will directly solve our problem. Uh, we will solve this problem by breaking down it into three to four steps. Okay. So in the step one. So in the step one. So in the step one, we will calculate the area of non-rotated square. Okay, calculate, calculate the area of non-rotated square of non-rotated square. Okay, so uh, the area of a square with side length a it can be given by a square right so the the area a of a square with side length a with side length with side length a is given by is given by a is equal to a square. So this is the area of a non-rotated square. So in the step two, so in the step two, we will determine the area of rotated square. Determine, determine the area of rotated square. determine the area of rotated okay so we will write down here yeah. so when the square when the square is rotated by 45 degree is by 45 degree the side length of the rotated square remains in the side length the side length of rotated square side length of rotated square remains a okay and thus and thus thus the area area which is denoted by a rotated thus the area a rotated of a rotated square of a rotated square rotated square with the side length a with the side length a with the side length a is given by is given by a rotated is equal to a square okay since both the square are of side length a okay so even though the one of the square is rotated by 45 degree, its side length will remain a only. And we know that the area of square is equal to side square. So the area of that rotated square will be a square. So in the next step, we will try to calculate the overlapping area. Okay. So overlapping area means this triangle. Okay. I will paint. Okay. That is in the uh, next step. That is step number three. We will try to calculate the area of this yellow triangle. Okay. And if we find the area of that yellow triangle, we will subtract it from the area of the 
rotated square and then we will find the area of the rotated square not overlapping with the non rotated square okay that is uh, required gray and then we will find the required gray area okay so step 3 so step 3 in the step uh, step 3 calculate uh, we will try to calculate calculate the area of overlapping region that is nothing but we will try to calculate overlapping area okay and so just look at the diagram so if we draw a line like this okay so if we uh, draw a line like this and So if we draw the two lines like this, then these two lines are nothing but the diagonal of a square. Okay. And we know the fact that diagonal of a square are perpendicular bisector of each other. So we will use this fact to calculate the overlapping area. Okay. So we know that we know that the diagonal of a square, the diagonal of a square. are perpendicular bisector perpendicular perpendicular bisector of each other of each other so so perpendicular means they will form a right angle that is angle of 90 degree at a point of intersection that is the four all the four angle will be of 90 degree and bisector means they will uh, that is both the uh, diagonal will uh, divide other diagonal into two equal part okay so we will use both this fact to calculate the area of overlapping region okay so thus the overlapping region overlapping region is a right angle triangle is a right angle triangle by using the fact that the diagonals diagonals of a square are perpendicular okay and and we will now use the fact that they are bisector of each other okay since both the side since both the sides of the triangle these two sides this is the first side and this is the second side since both the sides of the triangle are the half of the diagonals of the square since both the side of the triangle are half of the diagonal half of the diagonal of the square of the square okay and since two sides of the triangle are equal it is an isosceles right angle triangle since two study since two sides of the triangle are equal Are equal. It is an an isosceles isosceles right angle triangle. Isosceles right angle triangle. Okay, and we know the one fact that if I will write down here as we know the diagonal of a square. The diagonal of a square, diagonal of a square with side length A with side length length A is given by 
is given by I will write the back in red color so diagonal so diagonal is equal to a root 2 the diagonal of a square with side length a is given by a root 2 so we will use this fact to calculate the side length of our isoscalar right angle triangle so therefore therefore each side therefore each side of the isoscalar right angle triangle isoscalar right angle triangle therefore each side of the isoscalar right angle triangle is half of the diagonal is half of the diagonal we are concluding this because we have already mentioned that the diagonals of a square are perpendicular perpendicular fact uh, to uh, conclude that that overlap uh, region that triangle is a right angle triangle and diagonals of a square are bisector of each other so we will use this fact bisector here uh, so by using that fact, we can conclude that each side of isoscalar right angle triangle is a half of the diagonal, which is so which is nothing but half of the diagonal. Actually, like our diagonal is of length a root two, so half of a root two is a root two upon two. Okay. So and now we have the side length of the isoscalar right angle triangle. Okay, and by using the side length, we can easily calculate the area of the isoscalar right angle triangle. So so just a minute. So the the area of isoscalar right angle right angle triangle is given by is given by I will write down the formula for the area. Area is equal to half into half into base into height. Base into height, which is nothing but the formula for calculating the area of a triangle. In case of isoscalar right angle triangle, we can also rewrite uh, this formula as area is equal to half into product of the two sides forming the right angle. Okay, so here in this case. Now we will substitute the uh, base and height. Okay, so in this triangle, in this triangle, so base and height both are equal, and which are nothing but the half of the diagonal of this square. And we have find out its value, which is nothing but a root two upon two. So uh, after substituting it into the formula, uh, our formula will look like this: a root two upon two into a root two upon two. So on simplifying the expression. So a into a is equal to a square into root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2 and 2 into 2 is 4 into 2 is a. So a square into 2 upon a square into 2 upon a which is equal to a square upon 4. Okay. So this is the area of a triangle that is this is the area of overlapping square. Okay. So that triangle was actually the overlap, overlapping region of a square. Okay. So by finding the area of this triangle we can now write thus the area of overlapping square square is a overlap a overlap is equal to a square upon 4 okay so now we can, in the next step we can easily calculate the gray area. So step four. So step four. Step four is nothing but uh, the finding the find the area of rotated square. That does not overlap with that does not overlap with non rotated split. So that is the 
gray area in the diagram. We can find this gray area by subtracting the area of rotated square minus area of overlap region. So we can easily calculate such area. So A, oh, I will write. So area of gray region that is A gray is equal to A rotated minus A overlap. So A rotated is equal to so a rotated is equal to a square and a overlap is equal to a square upon 4. So is equal to a square minus a square upon 4, which is nothing but 3 a square upon 4. And thus our final solution is so final solution. So our final solution. The, the surface area of a rotated square not overlapping the non-rotated square that is gray area gray area is equal to 3a square upon 4 this is the final solution okay so i will with a square so gray area is equal to 3a square upon 4 so uh, let's carefully review the solution and capture a screenshot for the reference Uh, so now let's approach the problem from more intuitive perspective. Notice that the overlapping region forms four identical triangles at the corner of the square. Okay, so I will draw it like this. I will draw it like this. So it will form four identical uh, triangles. One, first, second, third and fourth. Okay, so since the rotated square is a symmetrical, the total overlapping area can be thought as one fourth of the area of a square itself. This means the overlapping area is a square upon four, giving us the same result for the non-overlapping area. Okay, so this is a second approach which can be used to find the overlapping region of a non-rotated square. Okay, that is uh, so this gives a, another approach to find the area of a overlapping region of a uh, rotated square with a non-rotated square. Approach 3 in alternate geometric approach. Finally, let's take a look at the alternative approach. If you look at the tri a triangle form, uh, its base is the side of a square. This base of this triangle is the side of a square which is nothing but A. Okay. And the height is, and if I draw the perpendicular like this, so A, this height is nothing but a upon 2 okay because uh, we have already mentioned that one of the square is rotated by 45 degree and placed in the center of the second square so this height uh, if we draw a perpendicular from this to the base its length will be a upon 2 and using the area of a triangle uh, that a uh, half into base into height uh, half into a into a by 2 uh, again this gives the overlapping area as a square upon 4 leaving the non-overlapping gray area to be the 3s square upon 4. These are the another two approaches which can be also used to solve this problem. So thanks for sticking with me through this fun geometric puzzle. As you can see, there are multiple ways to arrive at the same solution and that's what makes math so exciting. Don't, don't forget to try solving problems like this from the different angle. You might discover a new insight or shortcut. Mm -hmm. I hope you find this uh, the solution helpful if you did please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more interesting math content stay tuned because i have even more exciting problem and solution coming you will see you in the next video bye bye